I made a belt squat platform that can attach to any cable machine or pulley. Check out how I did it. Belt squats are a great option for people with lower back issues. It allows the lifter to work the legs without putting pressure on the spine. The problem is that belt squat machines can cost a small fortune and take up a lot of space. It took some time to figure out how to make it work, but I got it. A belt squat platform that is small, versatile, and won't break the bank. I start off by building the frame for the platform. I use two by fours in a simple configuration and fasten them together with screws. I use a five and a half inch bolt with washers and half inch spacers for my wheel. The top of my platform is made from half inch plywood. My piece measures 24 inches by 24 inches. I use a one and a half inch Forstner bit to make a hole. Then follow up with a miter saw to cut straight lines. I go over the top edges with my router and a roundover bit. Then start fastening it to the frame. When I made the prototype, I had issues with it moving around when in use. I've got two solutions for this. Option one, attach it to the power rack. These measurements are specific to my Ethos power rack. I suggest measuring for modifications if you have a different rack. I put screws in the ends and two L brackets on each side. I attach this piece to the front side of the platform. The other two by fours go in the middle and in the back. Voila, this one is done. I use bolts to attach it to my rack. Once they're in, it's solid. What I like about this one is being able to use a barbell to hold on to for stability. Option two, add weight pins. Similar to the first option, on this one, however, the longer piece is 48 inches. I'm using inch and a half dowels, so I drill inch and a half holes all the way through with my drill press. This option has non-slip pads attached to the bottom. So I push the dowels through to roughly the same height as the pads before putting screws in to fasten. When attaching this piece, it goes in the middle. This keeps the weight evenly distributed. I use large, non-slip pads that screw into the bottom, one on each corner. I'm attaching it to my functional trainer, so all I need is a small cable extension to connect. Put a couple bumpers on each side and this thing is not going anywhere. Let me know what I should build next in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.